Hey Venom fans, Venom Man here tonight, and tonight we're going to be talking about a headline that i seen in the news today, and I feel like it's a little bit sensationalized, so let's go ahead and talk about the facts of the Japanese giant hornet, also known as the murder hornet. So since I don't actually have any giant hornets that we can use for this video, since I mainly deal with reptiles and other arachnids, I figure we'll go ahead and use this, some Madagascar hissing cockroach. I actually get their name because they like to hiss and jump apparently, but uh, this is just one of the biggest bugs in some of my collection. Eh, he can hang out there. Anyway, I'll catch him later. So the Japanese giant hornet, from what I'm reading, is actually the biggest hornet on earth. These guys can get about 1.8 inches long. A queen can get up to about 2.4 inches long. So needless to say, that's a pretty big flying insect. Not only that, they have about a quarter inch stinger on their back end. So let's talk a little bit about the venom. Being a murder hornet, these guys got to be bad, right? Well, in theory, yes, they are. From my reading, the LD50, which is actually lethal dose to 50 mice, is the quickest way I can explain it. It goes a little bit more in depth, but you can look that up on your own accord if you choose to. On this animal is four mig of venom, which is dry weight. Um, with that being said, to put that into perspective, that's about as toxic as the most toxic snake in North America, drop for drop. But of course, they're not going to give you that much venom because it's a bug, not a snake. They don't have huge venom glands. They have little venom pouches in the base of their stinger, from my understanding. Yet again, I'm not an entomologist, but I do love to study everything venomous. So, four mig of venom, is, you're not going to get that. Now, you're definitely not gonna get that from a single sting. From what I'm reading, multiple stings from this species to a person could kill a person without anaphylaxis, anaphylactic shock. So, without being allergic to it, you could still die from this sting. Now, also what I'm reading about this species is that they're not actually targeting humans. They're not really all that aggressive. So, the murder hornet is a little extreme. Seems like a sensationalized news ploy. But out of all the news reports I've heard, they seem to be pretty on track. They don't seem to be too sensationalized. So if these guys are from Japan, how deadly are they really in Japan? Are they wiping out mass numbers of people? So the study from 2001 up until this day states that about 12 to 26 people a year die in Japan from stinging insects, or at least that's what I gathered out of the study. Now, it doesn't actually specify what stinging insects are killing people, so we can assume that a large number of those could be from this giant hornet. Uh, past that, you know, I don't know what other stinging insects they have over there. This one seems to be the most menacing in looks at least, but I know it's not the most toxic hornet in the world, so with that being said, Maybe that one holds the record, but I don't even know if that lives in Japan. I would have to do more studies. Now, one thing I've been reading is these hornets typically stay in the mountainous, woody areas. They don't typically fly and migrate and move around prairies. So in theory, on the northwestern United States, they might be kind of isolated there. I'm not saying that they can't move across the United States, but if they're staying in Washington around the mountains, it might be hard for them to move past that, or they might not choose to move past that. But the real effect of these hornets, I've been talking about the dangers to human, it's the dangers to our ecology. If these guys were to get out in mass numbers and we can't stop them, the honeybee species as a whole will be decimated. These hornets, from what I'm reading and hearing, can kill up to about 5,000 bees per raid, one hornet. So you get six, seven, eight hornets, they can take out 30, 60,000 bees in a hit, and that's crazy. So with that being said, I think it's very beneficial that I learn as much as humanly possible about these, you learn as much as humanly possible about these, and we try to stop these. Because a lot of people are always terrified about what if someone's pet tiger gets loose and that would be horrible but what i'm really terrified is some of these crazy bugs like this don't know how i got here don't know how i came in but it's not good that it's here bugs are very hard to get rid of i mean look at roaches the german roach spread all the way through america and uh the united states at least and we can't really combat those speaking of roaches where did mine go <laughs> 
found them. The great part about these guys is they actually have a hard time breeding without a higher temperature. So these are never gonna become native to the United States. Come on, little guy. Yeah, he's so fast. But uh, anyway, I appreciate you guys checking out this video. Stop being so hissy. Because I do want to be so loud. Come on. There you go. Caught him. <laughs> cool little guys, though, aren't they? If you want to learn more about animals, about bugs, about snakes, about venoms, because I love venoms, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and like the video. Show all your friends. We can talk more about bugs next time or maybe some venomous snakes. Y'all have a wonderful night.